In this video, as you can see in the preview on the screen, you learn how to create the scroll back to top button that once clicked will scroll the page smoothly to the top. By the way, before you get started, if you're here, I'm sure you want to become a programmer and yes, here on YouTube, you can learn a lot, but one of the best ways to actually improve, especially if you want to turn this into a career, is to take some courses made by experts in the field. Usually these courses are structured in a way that makes it easier for you to learn properly and I've selected for you some of the best courses and learning platforms. You'll find the links in the description down below and by using those links, you're going to help this channel as well. Okay, so here I've got my index.html file. I've linked all the style sheets I need. As you can see, the font awesome style sheet as well, because we're going to need an icon, all right? I've actually made a video about font awesome. If you want to check that out and understand how you need to set things up, okay, for it to work. Then I've got live server running as usual and preacher running as well, which is the code for Mata. And I've made videos about them as well. This is the structure of my project. So I've got the index.html file here, and then the CSS folder with the font awesome folder, and then the main.css file here. Perfect. So to get started, we are going to create a div like this with the ID main container. Instead of here, we're going to have a link. So we need to add this hash sign here. And this hash sign basically means the top of the page, which means that when you click this link, then you will get straight to the top of the page. Okay. Then instead of here, div with the ID to top like this. And then instead of here, we're going to get the icon from font awesome. So to get the icon from font awesome here, then you need to go to the font awesome website and I have it here. Then you need to go to icons and here we can search arrow up, something like that. Then we can choose if we want free icons. So I'm going to just use that and then we're going to use this one. So you just click on it. Then you go down here, you click on the actual code. Then we need to go back to, let's go back to here and we can just paste it, right? So that's it. Then down here, little title and here we're just going to write the best website to learn to play the guitar, something like that. I'm just making things up. Then here we need a div with the ID content and then there's going to write a few sections. So the first section has this title here. So the best to get started. And then paragraph, it's a bit of text like this. And then I'm just going to do something like this. So that we've got a sort of website. Then I'm going to copy this section and I'm going to paste it down here. Okay. But here in this case, I just want one paragraph like this, like that, just a different paragraph. Okay. And the title is going to be something be different. So what learn first, something like that. And then last but not least down here. Another section, in this case, text, less text, just to give it like that. And then the title could be something like, I don't know, five essential for beginners, something like that. I've probably made some typos, but bear with me. Probably we can just add another paragraph down here. All right. By the way, if you like this channel and you like what I do and you want to support it, there are different ways you can do that, like a one-off donation, becoming a member of my Patreon, or you can even use the links in the description box down below to get things to take your programming skills to the next level. You'll find everything in the description box down below. And thank you so, so much for the support. So now you've got this website here. Let's see how it looks like. All right. So this is how it looks like. Here we've got the icon. But of course, we now need to style the whole thing. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code like this. And then let's start writing a little bit of CSS, which is what we like, right? So first of all, I'm going to reset a few things to so margin zero. 
I just like to, to do that every time, okay? Then body, it's going to be background color, 0, 4, 1, F, 3, 3, and then the color is going to be white. So we've got this, okay? Then the H1 is going to be text align, center. Then the main container is going to be putting 40 pixels, 80 pixels. Display flex, like that. Flex direction is going to be column, like this. And then align items, center. Then down here, you can do something like content and max width pixels like this so let's see now that's already looking a little bit better then down here we've got section h1 margin 40 pixels 0 30 pixels 0 and then section paragraph margin 0 0 20 pixels 0 okay so we've got this so much better, right? But now we need to actually style the back to the top icon, right? So let's go back to this. Perfect. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, please give it a like. It's really, really simple and yet really important for the channel. Also subscribe as well. I'm going to post a lot of other videos like this and you definitely don't want to miss them. So to top position is going to be fixed, right? Bottom where we want this to be fixed. So we want this to be fixed, starting 30 pixels from the bottom and 30 pixels from the right, okay? With 40 pixels and height 40 pixels, like this. The font size is going to be 30 pixels. And as we're using a font awesome icon, we can use the font size to change the actual size of the icon. And also we can use the color to change the color of the icon, which is kind of cool black right then the background color is going to be white border radius six pixels display flex so we're going to actually place the icon in the middle of the square okay justify content center align items center transform scale zero let's actually comment this out for a second and then transition bottom milliseconds transform milliseconds so let's see what we've got as you can see we've got the icon down here but we don't want this icon to stay there all the time we want this to appear with a cool effect and then now then i'm going to uncomment that but i just want to show you one thing so to top hover bottom 35 pixels so basically we when you hover over it as you can see, you've got this cool effect, right? These are really subtle effects, but in my opinion, they make the website so much better, right? Then let's uncomment this so we don't see that anymore. As you can see now, we don't see that anymore, right? And then we want to do something like this, right? Show, transform, scale, one. So basically when the two top container has the class show, then, we transform and we scale to one, which means that the icon actually appears, right? And since we've got the transition, that is going to add a cool effect. But of course, we need a way to actually add the show class to the container, right? So we need to add a little bit of JavaScript. So let's go back here, down at the bottom, all right, down here. As usual, you can make your own file and then add it here, like let's say scripts and then the file like uh, script.js or something like that. I just write that here for the sake of simplicity, also because we don't have a lot of JavaScript to write. So basically down here, we are going to do something like document, event listener, scroll, right? So when the user scrolls, this event is triggered, then we want to get the button, right? So document query selector and then we're going to get like to top like that then down here if window scroll y is greater than 200 okay so what is this windows dot scroll y 
basically it tells you how much you scrolled basically okay so if you go back here here we are at zero if you start scrolling down it will be like 100 200 300 pixels etc etc okay then when you scroll back up it's going to be like 200 100 zero right i hope that makes sense so basically how much you scroll down and up okay and of course when you scroll down the event the scroll event is triggered more than once so it would be like trigger 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 okay so that's what the window dot scroll y is basically so we're telling if the window dot scroll y so while we're scrolling if the window dot scroll y becomes greater than 200 which means that we scrolled more than 200 pixels down then we want to add the class show to the container else which means that the window dot scroll y is not greater than 200 anymore so that means that we scrolled back up and then we are less than 200 pixels from the top so let's say 150 100 and etc etc so else we want to remove the class okay so let's see if that works and then i'm going to show you how you can scroll smoothly to the top because now right now it goes straight up so let's go back here so let's start scrolling as you can see 200 pixels it appears less than 200 pixels it disappears right and that's a really cool effect in my opinion and then if you go here as you can see you've got this effect here but if you click it goes straight up so let's go back here it goes straight to the top and we don't want that we want the scroll to be smooth right so we want to scroll smoothly to the top and that's really really easy to do that and we can just do that by adding a css property up here so we're going to write something like html scroll behavior smooth really easy right so let's try now so we scroll down okay we go here we click and as you can see it scrolls smoothly to the top you can actually see the scroll right so now on the screen you should see another video about web development so go and check that out also don't forget to check out all the links in the description box down below like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel as well and i'll see you in the next one bye